we are visiting Market Gallery and you could find here many amazing artworks. My name is Ria, R-I-Y-A, and I am nine years old from Ajax. My name is Maya. I turned 10 last month. I am from Ajax. This is the first time I've been to this museum, but I have been to other museums. Now we're inside of the first city hall, right? So that was built in 1845. Um, and this room was the council chamber. So they built one market over there in 1901, they kept the middle section of the original city hall and they destroyed the wings in the back of the building and then they built a second market around it. Um, the gallery isn't like other, you know, historical buildings where we keep all the furniture from the original times. We don't have a lot of that furniture, and so what we do instead, we have this chair, which is one of the things that we have. But what we do instead is we put on shows about Toronto's history, about art, culture. Okay, so we're ready to go upstairs into the vault. So this is our art vault, our, like, our nice and secret art vault. The City of Toronto has about 3,000 pieces in its fine art collection. Oh my gosh. There's one on this wall that's probably about $350,000. I'm not going to tell you which one because you'll steal it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and it was made by a woman artist, so it was the first one, the first painting that was ever made by a woman that was acquired by the city. This is the depiction of the building that we are in. In the 1850s, this city hall building was like one of the tallest buildings in the entire city. So this is um, a portrait of William Peyton Hubbard. He was born free, so he is a really important, uh, I guess, figure in Toronto's history because he was the first uh, black person to uh, be a councilman. So he was the first person to be a part of the government. He was. Uh, very well liked. Um, he was a very popular member of council and um, and a really popular public figure. I, I think he was very motivated because if if he could do it, then other black people would believe that they could do it also. So he wasn't really doing it for just him. He was doing it for other people too. So that what probably motivated him a lot. So this is the St. Lawrence Hall. This is called the Great Hall. This building is 170 years old. Oh, that's a lot. It's, there are lots of events that happened here. 170 years ago, there was a really important event in this room, which is called the Convention of Colored Freemen. So that convention had a whole bunch of abolitionists visit Toronto. And Toronto, at that time, there was no slavery, it wasn't legal, and there were lots of black people who had been enslaved who had moved to Toronto so that they could live freely. And in the end, people decided that the best place for people who were enslaved and who are now free to live in freedom is in Canada, in Toronto. I learned a lot of like cool social studies facts of like the history of Canada and Ontario and Toronto and like all their like these really famous people who like changed the world for the better. I like how every single thing in it has a story behind it and I think it's very interesting. Bye! Bye.